Hey, what's up everybody? Firestorm79 here, continuing my Star Trek Legacy Let's Play. We, so we are starting on the next generation missions. So, as you can see, we don't really have any next generation ships yet, except for the Ambassador class. We do have an Excelsior refit, though. So, I'm going to change my fleet a little bit. I'm just going to sell my Constellation, because we have one. Stargazer. I'm going to get rid of the... Proxima. I'm gonna buy a const uh, Constitution refit, and since you don't, you don't need any power ships for this one, we need some fast ships. I'm gonna buy an Apollo refit. I'm gonna get a name I like. The uh, Pow. I like that. So, let's keep going. Captain's Log, Stardate 10372.6. While on a survey mission to Galondon Core, We've received word from a Federation listening post along the neutral zone that a disturbance has been detected involving several Romulan ships and an older Vulcan vessel. The Romulans appear to be engaged in battle, Captain. Full sensor scan. I want to know what's happening over there. My lord, what kind of a mess are the Romulans creating now? The planet has just been liquefied to molten rock. Its core is destabilizing. Brace for the shockwave. Raise shields. Vigo, raise the shields. John, but we've been hit badly. Major damage to the outer hull. The captain. Captain Ruhalter is down. Medical team to the bridge. Emergency. What are we going to do, John Luke? I'm taking command. Bring us about. Full impulse, get us some distance. Open a channel to that ship. Channel open. Attention, unidentified vessel. I am Captain Picard of the Federation ship Stargazer. You are entering Federation territory. Return at once to Romulan space. No response, John Luke. They've altered course. They're bypassing our position and heading deeper into Federation space. Good. We're in no real condition to fight anyway. We need to reach Starbase 61. Tax the engines as hard as you have to, but we must get there quickly. We'll do, Captain. Do we still have sensors, Vigo? Barely. The sensor pallets are still there, but there's hardly any power left. It's the planet. The core has completely collapsed. What about stellar debris? Give me a bearing. Computing that now. A large portion of the stellar debris will pass through the Vidian star system. Best possible speed to Starbase 61. Open a channel to them. We're going to need more ships. Acting Captain's log. Supplemental. Captain Ruhalter is dead. After reaching Starbase 61, we discovered only three other Federation starships are present in the system. We have very few resources to aid us in this catastrophe, but we'll have to make whatever we do have count twice over. We cannot allow any of those massive fragments to strike the planets in this system. If they do, millions of lives could be lost and the planets rendered uninhabitable for decades. The sensor so we gotta stop the stellar debris. The ones that are gonna strike the planets will be boxed in a red box right there. So here's the refit of this class. Yeah, I like it. It has the two nacelles. Kind of reminds me of the USS Kelvin from the new Star Trek movie. So we just gotta destroy some stellar debris. And then make sure you keep an eye on these guys because if they strike the planet, then yeah, you can have to start over. Target. 
target. Moving in to attack position. Let's get a walk on this. Engaging target. Engaging target. Engaging target. Moving into attack position. Moving in to attack position. Yeah, let's go play as the eagle for a while. Moving into attack position. Engaging target. Engaging target. Engaging target. Lock phase. Engaging target. Moving into attack position. Engaging target. Engaging target. Engaging target. And also watch that these sensors don't get hit. Cause I think there's either an achievement for that, or um, it's an objective. It's one of those. So let's make sure that you keep an eye on the cell debris heading towards them, so they don't get hit. Yeah, so this mission's pretty easy, it's just, it can get a little tedious. It's probably, it's probably my least favorite mission in the game, just because, you know, it's not much going on, but... Doing on the cell review. Pretty, pretty okay. Moving into attack position. Engaging target. Moving into attack position. Engaging target. Okay, so back is the Reliant. This, mission's, this is a good one for the Reliant just because you know you're not having to try and lock onto actual ships. Phaser's ready. Moving into attack position. Engaging target. I just like the look of the Miranda Reef. I don't know, it's just. Really cool, and the fact that you can play as the Reliant, uh, I think that's just awesome. Moving into attack position, engaging target. And if you need to Star Trek, the reason the Reliant is like kind of the famous one is because in the movie they're at the con, that's the one that Khan took over, and almost destroyed the Enterprise with. So it's kind of cool that you get to play as it. So the cell debris on course for the sensor is just screwing. Engaging target. 
target. Engaging target. Intercept course spotted. Moving into attack position. This is really a mission where it's good. This is Starbase 61. We've been monitoring the situation. The debris entering the system is steadily increasing, but I believe we can be of some assistance. We've been able to modify our defensive platforms, increasing their range and power. You can use your tractor beams to tow them to the locations I've indicated. I believe they could provide significant support for destroying the incoming debris. Alright, so we gotta get these sensor pods in position. So I always put them in front of the sensors. And then you and then of course you know I gotta put them in front of the planets. So he's gotta get a tractor beam on him. Engaging tractor beam. And then get them to their location. Make sure you put your power to the engine so you can go as fast as possible. Engaging tractor beam. Engage tractor beam. Course set, Captain. Eagle standing by. Engaging tractor beam. Course set. Okay, that's the other breeze getting pretty close to the planet, so I'm gonna get to take that out. Guys in position. Engage. Target are reporting. Come on. Sensor pod by the. I'm gonna go for that planet next. Engage tractor beam. Horse laid in. Eagle standing by. Diverting power to engines, Captain. Horse laid in. Reliant standing by. Disengaging tractor beam, Captain. Diverting power to engines, Captain. In position. Okay, now just gotta head and get one more by the last planet. Engaging tractor beam. Course laid in. Okay. And then we're not all these plants are on the same level, so you gotta head down. And then go ahead and get this just get this guy out here. You gotta go up with this guy. Reliant to fleet, awaiting orders. 
Awaiting further instructions. It's all. Stargaze at all ships. We've detected a massive piece of stellar matter on a collision course with Fidian 3. Its sheer mass and velocity make it unlikely we'll be able to destroy it using our phases or torpedoes. But we may be able to use the mass of the other fragments to inflict more damage by impacting some of the smaller debris into the larger ones. Transfer auxiliary power to your tractor beam systems. We'll need all the power we can get. So, you're gonna have to grab these stellar debris fragments and then tractor beam them so that they collide with the large one. Excellent. So this is why this ship is getting the fastest for this part. And it doesn't hurt to put a couple of weapons into it. <laughs> One more should do it. You have to be within a thousand meters. Or whatever, it's measuring to track to beam anything. Fragmented the largest piece, but the resulting stellar debris is still on course for Fidian 3. Continue targeting the remaining pieces. It's imperative that we destroy them before they can hit the planet. Full power to engine. Engaging tractor beam. Ship can be a little bit hard to control when you have full power to engines. One more, I'm gonna do it. Good. Got it, there we go. Oh. There we go. All of the stellar fragments have been destroyed. We've managed to avert a disaster, and you all have done splendid work here. Well done. Captain's log, Stardate 10374.8. This is my first entry as the captain of a starship, though I wish my command bars hadn't come with such a high cost. With the loss of Captain Ruhalter and several of my crewmates, I grieve for us all. However, they died holding up the highest traditions of Starfleet, proudly doing their best to rise to a challenge and overcome great odds. Our friends and comrades will be missed. I will endeavor to be a captain worthy of such a fine crew and such a fine ship. I do regret that Starfleet has been unable to determine the whereabouts of the vessel which brought the Romulans to our doorstep. But perhaps in time, We'll be able to piece together what really happened here today in an effort to give it meaning. So that shall conclude this episode. Again, I'm sorry it wasn't the most interesting, but I promise that the rest of the missions will be awesome. So, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe and drop a like and a dislike and have a great day, everyone.